All right, so I have my cake baked and cooled and ready to go. And we're gonna go through the process of stacking and decorating the cake. So I got my cake, I got some chocolate buttercream and all my tools that I'm gonna use to put this cake together. I start off by taking my palette knife to use to take the cake away from the side of the pan. So now once we have it out of the pan, we're gonna go ahead and level off the top of the cake so that it's nice and even. Okay, so I'm gonna start by creating layers in the cake and I'm just gonna start off by just lightly making an indent about one inch in the middle. And then once I've gone around the cake a couple times, I'm gonna just slowly make, move my knife deeper into the cake until it's cut all the way through. Following the same lines that I made before. Now I can feel that I have made it all the way through the cake. So I'm gonna put a parchment paper on the top and try and get this onto the cooling rack. my hand in the middle, flip it over, and there we go. We have two layers, perfect layers for our cake. Okay, so now we have our cake board for the bottom. So now that we have our layers, we're gonna start to assemble. So I just get a little bit of icing and add it to the cake board so that it holds the cake to the board and it doesn't move. Then we're going to get one of our layers and try to gently to remove the paper so that we're not creating more crumbs. Put it onto the board nice and center. Perfect. Then we're going to add some buttercream into the middle layers. And we're going to spread it out. Then we add our top layer. Now we're gonna do a quick crumb coat around the outside of the cake and we're gonna put it in the fridge to set before we start putting the other layer. The crumb coat locks in any crumbs so that they don't show up in your final layer. So you get a nice, clean, smooth finish on your cake. Scrape off, get a nice even layer. All right, and it's ready to go on the fridge. All right, so it's been in the fridge for about 30 minutes to chill, and now we're gonna put the final layer before we get to decorating. Now that we got our cake all iced and ready to go, we're gonna move on to decorating. So we're gonna take our piping bag and we're gonna fit it with our coupler so that we can switch any piping tip we want if we decide to change our minds after. We're gonna cut it out here. Piping tip. And then we're gonna fill up our bag with icing.
And so there you go. There's your final product, your cake fully assembled and decorated. Now I'm looking forward to baking with all of you in our kitchen.